Hello and welcome to the Bad Hair Show. I'm sitting in my living room right now because the man cave isn't finished yet. I've got to get a bigger, no, smaller sofa bed for the man cave uh, because the one that's in right now just dominates the room. And when the new one arrives, the smaller one, I can get a small, just one chair and one table, a wee square one, and that can be wearing workstation and for filming and such up in the man cave. In the meantime, I'm in the living room. I have in front of me most of what I've done for the HBI Venture Kit so far. Sorry, there's a vehicle going past. I'm going to have to get used to this now. I live where people are. Anyway, the HBI Venture Kit is coming along well. The links are made as well, but they're still in the box. These are the lovely axles. That one's lovely. This one's not quite as lovely, but nice. You can see the behind the axle steering there. And this is the gearbox which was as smooth as silk until you put the two halves together and now it's a little bit rumbly. Not bad, certainly not as smooth as the gearbox in my GMA Komodo. Speaking of the Komodo, just because I'm getting a nice new crawler doesn't mean that that's going to be put on the back burner and it'll be neglected. Far from it, in fact. The Komodo is still one of my favourite RCs and here it is here. Some Nice new stuff have or has has nice new stuff has arrived. Yes, got confused there because the stuff is plural because there's more than one stuff, but stuff is a singular word. New stuff have arrived. No, the point is there's new bits, right? So, ah, oh yes. Shouldn't have put them so far away. Here we go. Look at these. Oh, yes. Some nice new tires. Now. The tires that come with the kit, what are they called again, MT something or other, 1903s, that's them. They're good, I like them a lot, I really like these tires. I love the soft compound, they're so grippy, so sticky, they're really good. And I like the foams that are in them as well. But, they are just a little bit small, just a little bit. When the shell's on it, they don't quite fill the arches, when there's a big arch gap all the way around. And, they could do with just being a little bit taller. Especially since this big hefty front bumper is quite low and quite far forward. So one way of lifting the whole thing up a little bit is to fit bigger tyres. I wanted bigger tyres anyway. Don't need to necessarily, we'll see, play around with the suspension. Just fit the bigger tyres. I'll raise it by maybe 5 or 6 mil. And also the front of the tyre here will be, I mean it doesn't sound very much, but the front of the tyre here will also be slightly further forward by a few mil as well. So overall, hopefully, it'll start to hit the tyre wall, or the tyre, not tyre wall, that's a tyre wall, but the tyre before the bumper, if it's the correct obstacle. And if not, you can still do the whole turn it, come at an angle thing, and hopefully it'll make that easier. Because these are quite a lot bigger, though the camera shows, but if they're right next to each other, that tyre is a lot taller. And... In fact, I wonder if you can see it that way better. Maybe, oh there you go, look at that. That is a taller tyre. It's also wider. So, um, yeah. Hopefully I don't need to mod anything. But it should help the climbing ability. So that's one complaint, if I had a complaint. It's not really a complaint, but these were just a little bit small. These are the MT-1904, still G-made. And these are the ones that come standard on the bomb. So it's just a very similar chassis to this, same platform, different rear suspension setup, different body shell, it's got a cage. Um, but they come standard with these, not these. Um, and I'm using the GS01 plastic lead lock wheels still. So that'll help improve performance. Something else, let me just, I need to, they're too far, hold on. Okay, here we are. So, what else has arrived? I ordered the metal motor plate. This is the silver one to replace the plastic mount that's in there. Um, partially because there's a little bit of movement, but also I'm really struggling to get the pinion and spur mesh bang on in this truck. I've tried several times. There's a little bit of movement. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Um, there are holes to say, right, if you're using a 12-tooth pinion, 
here and here, if you're using a 13 here and here, so there, is, there, are, there are guides here, so it's not like you have a, an adjustable slot that you can, you know, move them closer or further away, you literally have this stage, this stage, this stage, um, but a little bit of movement, and it's not particularly accurate, so I was hoping that the metal one being hopefully machined better, and it also comes with a new, new cover, so I'll use the new cover, um, just slightly improve that. I was wanting the titanium grey one, but it's been out of stock for months and months and months and months and months. So I thought, you know what, screw it. Go for the silver one. You can't actually see it anyway. So that's good. Weight down low. Weight down low. Big way to improve the climbing ability of your crawler is to lower the center of gravity, especially putting it towards the front. Um, I'm not a big fan of rotational mass, extra rotational mass. Some people, for example Matthew, like to buy heavy wheels. Heavy wheels is a super easy way, very effective way of lowering your centre of gravity, keeping lots of weight, very low down, spot on. So what's the downside? Well, rotational mass. Extra rotational mass puts strain on everything. It's more strain on the drivetrain, it's more strain on the electronics, makes it more difficult to climb. It, not as in, how to explain it? If it's climbing like this and you have the extra mass, it's not just a simple case of carrying that extra weight, it's more involved than that. To give you an example, I used to be a, an avid reader of Fast Bikes magazine and they used to test different weight of wheels. And they found that on a superbike, obviously this is not a superbike, this is an RC crawler, but on a superbike, um, rotational mass makes 10 times the difference. The negative impact is 10 times bigger with rotational mass than the same weight as non-rotational mass. Now obviously that's going to be different for this, but it gives you an idea. I mean, that's a huge, huge difference. Um, motorbikes are all about speed. There's only two wheels. They're, the wheels probably, probably form up a higher percentage of the overall weight than wheels on this does. But, you know, 10 times massive difference. So even if it's three, four times, two times, whatever it is, I'm not a big fan of rotational mass. Having said that, uh, not that's the wrong thing, I ordered from Junfac these hardened steel dry shaft sets. The description said these were lightweight. These are not lightweight, these are quite heavy actually. Um, so yeah, that's completely going against everything that I tried to do with this truck because I tried to keep the rotational mass to the minimum. And now these are quite heavy. but. They're not massively heavy, they're just heavier than the plastic ones. The good news is, they are low down, okay, low down the drivetrain, nice low sink and recovery, and they're not as heavy as the other, there's another option which are which are described as heavy, um, so I don't want to go for them. Uh, but, one thing to bear in mind is these, as they rotate, they rotate like this, you know, they stay in the same spot and they rotate. So the actual, um, how do you explain it? The outer diameter is very, very small. So you only got like a little bit. With a wheel, the outer diameter is massive, like that. And so you have all this weight farther out from the center, center point, if that makes sense. I think it makes less of a difference if it's a very narrow thing than if it's a big wide wheel. That's my expert way of describing that. So yeah, should be okay, maybe, hopefully. This is the sort of thing I like. This is free weight, low down and far forward. These are the steering links. These are aluminium. These are stainless steel. They add 38 grams to the weight of the truck. At least they either add 38 over them or these are 38 and you've got to remove or minus the weight of those. I don't know. The website just says add 38 grams. So this one here and this one here, right? No rotational mass, just Nice bit of weight added, low down and far forward. Perfect for climbing. Uh, 38 grams isn't very much, obviously, but on a something this size, makes more difference than on a real car, for example, or on anything, really. Just sitting here, and it won't change anything to do with the way the truck performs, the way it steers, the way it moves, but just adds just that little bit more to the front. Nice. I've got some free gifts as well. They give me free gifts for ordering. They give me free cable ties, nice. They give me free heat shrink, nice. 
And they gave me fish stickers. Oh, fish stickers. Always like fish stickers. Good quality stickers. So that's what I have to look forward to today. Just adding a little bit more mass to the truck. Front, a little bit more farther forward. A little more on the drivetrain. Didn't want to do that, but there we are. I prefer them to the, the plastic ones. These plastic ones are supposed to be, they're telescopic, they go a bit in the middle. It's supposed to stay even between the two sides, but it doesn't. It sticks to one end and then it stays there and the dirt and stuff gets in there. So they're okay. They're, tough, they're strong enough. I mean, they've had no issue whatsoever, but we get the metal ones on there. And what I don't want to do, but I have to look forward to, is the beadlocks, all four, because I'm going to use the same wheels again. Great. Never mind. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so it's forever later, several hours later. It's dark outside now. This took me hours, partially because beadlocks takes ages. I had to find uh, the longer bolts to to build them again because you got to use two longer bolts to bring them together. Then blah 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 blah. blah. But also, I never opened the loft and in boxes. And also I had to deal with some stuff for the house. We've got a plumber coming soon because we've got a problem with the toilet. Um, anyway, we're here now and I've done. So, stainless front links, high carbon steel drive shafts, metal motor plate, and um, beastie beastie tires. Look how good that looks. So, there are little, little, small upgrades on the way that haven't arrived yet. Um, I did say I don't like a lot of rotational mass, but I don't mind a little bit. So these are running 8mm wide wheel hexes. I simply have brass 8mm wide wheel hexes on the way. They're only 8 grams each, so not going to do anything to the drivetrain, but a little bit more weight to load down. Could also get metal links. problem with that is... When metal gets scratched, there's a lot of friction. When you try and run a metal rod over a rock, when you're in rock crawling and the metal's all scratched, a lot of friction there can get hung up. Plastic slides off. So, uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted by something. I said top was the plumber already. It's not. Um, so, I'm going to stick with the plastic links for now. Although the metal one will also reduce or remove any of the flex in these links, so it might be worth looking at. Um, I might eventually need to get lightweight because I want lightweight uh, alloy bead locks for the truck because I noticed uh, at least one of the front ones not so much the back ones they're newer the front ones are a little bit worn on the hex probably because at one point before I got these wider hexes these 8 mil hexes I was using the standard hexes with spacers and then they sort of stripped out a little bit anyway that's it done these wheels are mean or so rather these tyres are mean look at the size of them and I just want to see what it looks like with the body shell on to wrap it up for today. And there we are. That's how it's sitting. Um, yeah. I suspect rubbing will happen. I genuinely do under articulation, but uh, we'll see. I don't mind a little bit of trimming. As long as I don't need to butcher the shell. Same with the uh, front bumper. I might just catch the front bumper a little bit, but hopefully G made have taken that into account. These are their own, their own tires, their own shell, their own bumper. So yes, slightly higher ground clearance now. Um, so hopefully this doesn't hit first anymore. Hopefully these hit first. They certainly sit further forward. And this is slightly higher at the front, so pretty good. That raises the centre of gravity, hence why I got the links here, steel links, and obviously the carbon steel drive shafts will further lower the centre of gra gravity. And then when I get the hel the hexes, the brass hexes, that'll help some more. Yeah, still so front heavy. I keep forgetting. Awesome, awesome. Looking forward to seeing it. Hope you guys are too. Thank you for watching. This is probably the last video of the year, so have a great new year. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.